Hey guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be revealing the secret source that's allowed me to rank inside of Google each and every time for each and every single website that I've used it on. Over the past few days and over the past few videos, I've shown you proof of my rankings, I've shown you multiple keywords, I've shown you multiple websites that I've been able to increase rankings for using this same method, and I even showed you rankings from one of our friends' websites, how we increase their rankings and how they're already making money from this method as well. I took you live inside of my rank tracker, and I even revealed the exact method that we're using to link back to our websites. I showed you how we saw, we saw potential issues. I showed you how we tweaked and how we fine tuned and how we came up with a method that allows you to link back to your website, which is going to be 100% safe. And I even showed you how you can scale um, the actual process as well. In this video, I'm going to actually be revealing the actual properties for you. So what are these properties, guys? And how can you do exactly the same? So these are high trust flow and high page authority social media links. And all of the rankings that I've shown you um, in this video and over the last few days or in the last few videos, guys, um, have been achieved using only one property, guys. Now, this is multiple accounts on the single property, and it's none other than high authority expired Tumblr blogs. Now, let me show you exactly why Tumblr blogs work so well and what we're actually looking for. When you understand this, guys, um, then you're gonna understand exactly why it increases our ranking so well. So Tumblr blogs build authority in two main ways. The very first way or the very first method that I'm going to be mentioning is that blogs play an active role on Tumblr. They build and when they play an active role on Tumblr, they are building internal links. So when they're reblogging other people's posts, when they're liking other people's posts and when they're tagging their own posts, then all of these places they're getting do follow links from guys. And a lot of these are subdomains, um, especially when they're reblogging and they're, and, they're, and they're being on other people's um, blogs and it builds authority guys but when these accounts close um, then these links are no value um, and the authority is actually lost um, so this the second method guys um, or the second reason or the second way they actually get authority which I've put in green and in bold is by external sites linking to them guys and it's just like any normal um, domain okay so any normal domain that wants to get an authority that wants to get authority guys it leverages or leverages it from third parties and backlinks and that's exactly um, the second way that you can get um, authority on tumblr blogs so how does a tumblr blog backlink profile look so if you imagine for a moment guys that this is a tumblr blog it's somebody businesses uh, um, blog or it's some users blog um, businesses use tumblr as well you'll be surprised to know um, and you'll be surprised to see how many businesses actually use tumblr um, but yeah um, you know you have your social profiles linked to your tumblr accounts you have your websites and your blogs linking to your tumblr account you have other websites and other properties that are linking to the tumblr blog as well so, and it looks very very similar to what we look for when we're looking to buy a domain to introduce into our uh, into our private blog network um, and what we're looking for um, in an actual domain with authority. So expired Tumblr blogs, why does Tumblr actually close accounts and how can we get hold of these um, Tumblr blogs and these expired blogs? So there's three main reasons why these blogs um, get closed guys. One is due to spam and Tumblr's closed the account. Another reason is that the user himself has dis or themselves have decided to close the account. And the third reason is due to ina inactivity. Now when the account gets closed for spam guys, then these don't don't become available for registration again. They'll still show the 404 page, um, but I mean, if Tumblr was to close an account for spam and then later somebody went ahead or that same spammer went ahead and re-registered the domain, it's just not gonna make sense. So what you'll find is when you're looking to register an account inside of Tumblr, even though the username will show a 404, Tumblr isn't always going to let you have that domain. And this is one of those um, areas where it can it can be very time consuming finding actual 404 uh, or actual domains that are available to re-register. The other area, guys, or the other reason is inactivity. And here's a screenshot of an email that I received myself, guys, um, for a blog that I had. And it's from Tumblr saying that um, the account has been dormant for a while. Um, so if you're 
if you're not using your Tumblr account, guys, then Tumblr is just going to um, make that blog name available again, guys. And if you've ignored the email, um, just like many users are going to ignore the email or many businesses are going to ignore the email, um, then you know what? You've lost that Tumblr blog and then that becomes available for users to register, guys. And these are the kind of accounts that we're looking for, guys, and because they're the ones that we're going to be able to register. So anyway, high authority Tumblr blogs. How can you get them yourselves, guys? There's three main ways to get hold of these, and I'm going to be revealing them to you now the very first one guys is you can scrape them yourselves and but I must warn you that it is time consuming and it can get very expensive you need to have hundreds of proxies you need to have access to VPSs so that you can leave them on all night to go and scrape Google and Yahoo and Bing and all these other search engines you need to have access to keywords and footprints um, you need to scrape of course then you need to sort out all of the blogs to make sure which ones are 404s which ones aren't 404s um, then you need to sort them then you need to check the metrics with Majestic and Moz then you need to pay for capture credits and emails and register the accounts and maintain maintain the accounts and nurture the accounts and so much more. So it can be time consuming and it can be expensive. But you know what, guys, the reward is there. This is why I spent so long to show you the results first, um, just so that you can see exactly how effective Tumblr can be. And I promise you, as mentioned, all the rankings that I've received and I've shown you are using nothing but Tumblr accounts. The second method, guys, is by buying them from reputable users. Now, the reason I'm saying reputable users, guys, um, is so that you don't get ripped off. Um, and the the last thing you want to do guys is go out there and buy tumblr expired usernames that have not been registered because as mentioned a lot of the expired usernames can be um closed because of spam and when you try and register them guys then you're not going to be able to even register them then you can get ripped off that way as well it's happened to me um this is why i'm passing the information over to you but when you do go to a reputable user, guys, um, you know, for a Trustflow 5 and a PA29 or something, you're looking to pay upwards of 10 bucks, even 5 bucks, or even 3 bucks per, uh, per an account that is registered, guys. Now, the reason I've got registered in brackets, guys, it's very important that if you do buy these Tumblr accounts, buy them as registered accounts guys so that you get the email and you get the password because a lot of the times guys you're not going to be able to register the tumblr accounts because the username has been closed due to spam um, and all the rankings that i've shown you guys have either used five or ten tumblr blogs i believe there was only one um one that used ten blogs um the rest of them were using five um blogs pointing to a buffer site and then over onto um, our blog um i didn't receive a page one ranking for all of them but i was increasing positions by 40 and 30 positions at a time guys um, so for page one ranking using the method that we're using um, and using 301 URL redirects and using um, buffer sites um, then I would say you need about 20 expired domain um, for each page that you're looking to rank guys and that is dependent on your keyword so I don't want you to take my word as gospel um, so that could be 200 100 bucks or even 60 bucks that you're paying to rank each page now when you've got five websites with 10 pages and 20 pages on each website that's 50 pages to 100 pages that you need to that you need to rank guys then it can become very very expensive and then not forgetting you have to log into each one you need proxies to manage each one um, and then you've got to make sure that you don't link each one to each other as well um, but there is a third solution, guys, and this is the best solution. This solution is better than both of the solutions. It's not time consuming and it's not expensive and it gets you much more than 20 links um, using this solution, guys. Um, so this solution, guys, it's a secret solution and it's a new solution and it works in three steps, guys. It is super easy and I'm going to actually be revealing this in tomorrow's email. What I will say, guys, it's only available to 100 users and it's going to be kept very secretive um, but yes guys it's way cheaper than any of the other two solutions and it's way less time you know what it's not time consuming whatsoever just wait for my email tomorrow to see exactly um, what kind of solution um, that I have for you guys. Um, now, if you like the rankings, and um, I'm sure you have, and if you have been following this whole process, guys, um, then I really hope um, that you can look out for our email tomorrow. If you have missed any of the emails, guys, or if you have missed any of the videos, then you should be able to find all the videos that we've um, put together for you throughout this series um, underneath this video. In total, there's three, including this one. So anyway, thank you very much, and keep a lookout for tomorrow's email.